hey y'all welcome back to my channel this is Chrissy T I am back with the recap of love and marriage Huntsville season 6 episode 29 and I'm going to do something different tonight I'm skipping over Leticia and Marceau the storyline is fake I'm not gonna play into it it didn't even look believable okay um, if you have to conjure up a storyline then it's time to say goodbye it's time for Own to give them their walking papers, Letitia and Marceau. Um, and it's like they're giving us this fake storyline to not talk about the real storyline. And that's what Martel cheat, Marceau cheating. Um, I want to see Kiki and Letitia have this conversation that she's been running from this entire time. Um, we still don't know about their damn lawsuit. But yet, y'all gonna play in our faces with this fake ass storyline. I'm not gonna entertain it. Um, I'm going to skip over them tonight. So instead of me doing scene by scene, I'm just gonna do the individual and do the recap of what took place in the entire episode instead of going scene by scene. So everyone's in Houston, Stormy and Courtney, they arrive late. Um, they have the baby with them. Um, apparently they missed their flight and the babysitter also missed their flight. Stormy and her confessional says she did not want to be there. Maybe you have, maybe you should have turned down the invitation. And Courtney said that he didn't feel comfortable sharing a bathroom with his wife and another man. And I get it. So they're going to the hotel, motel, Holiday Inn. I'm not sure, but they will not be in the house with the rest of the guests. So they're sitting down eating dinner and they get to the conversation of what Mars, Mar, Maurice, damn, all these Mars, Maurice, Marcel. Ugh. They talk about the interview that Maurice had with Carlos King. He says something about his, his wife is standing by him while he stands by her so when she can roll over and he goes to pound town and she can suffer through it that's admirable so kimmy said that's why she feels unprotected in her marriage well honey you are not protected i'm not sure what other proof you need that will show you that maurice has never had your best interest never but she says these things but then in the same breath, she make excuses for him, saying that he didn't mean what he said. It came out wrong. And then Melody made a good point because what comes out of your mouth is exactly what you feel in your heart. So what she does is she tries to write a poem out of the reckless thing that comes out of his mouth. Oh, he means well. And it's really given to Lulu. So Kimmy goes on to say that what Maurice said came out the wrong way. Melody said what's more concerning is, is that how he really feels? Yes, that's how he really feels. Because people say and speak what resides in their heart. So you need to know how this man really feels about you. It comes out of his mouth. I don't care that he apologized. Everything that man said in that interview, he meant it. And Kimmy says that people are under the impression that sex is the only thing that occupies Maurice's entire thought process. And she says that's not the case. Well, it is a case when every season after season after season, this is a topic of discussion. It's been your storyline for four or five seasons. Not only that, he goes on this interview and he tells Carlos King that Sex is a necessity. It's not a want. So yes, it does occupy his mind 24-7, which is why we keep having this conversation season after season. We, the viewers, are sick of hearing about your libido. How many times have y'all been to sex therapy? Y'all been in sex therapy for five years. So Nell notices that uh, Martel has his wedding band on at the table. Okay, and he knew exactly what he was doing. He was trying to get a rise out of Melody. M Martel takes pleasure in seeing Melody irritated or annoyed. He, he likes that kind of stuff. So I just started watching 
Love and Marriage Huntsville. I started watching it uh, season four, I think. So I went back and I started to watch the beginning seasons. I just finished season two. This man looked his wife in the face and said she wasn't doing what she was supposed to do as a wife. That's why he had an affair. Okay, he blamed his wife for his affair. Okay, he said Melody wasn't fulfilling his needs and coleslaw did. He said this to her face. Okay. So Martel came on this Houston trip with an agenda. Okay. His goal is to make Melody uncomfortable. Okay. He wants, that's why he wore that wedding band talking about wishful thinking. He wants the viewers to see that he's making an effort to be a better man, but it's just a conniving tactic to get underneath Melody's skin. So later that night, Letitia, Nell, Melody, and Kimmy, they went into the hot tub. And so Melody came out, she had her shades on, and she was taking pictures of herself. And Letitia said, this girl must really love herself as she should. As she should. You don't love yourself? It's like they're always so consumed with what Melody does. And the way she said it, it sounded like it was fueled in jealousy. But then, as I'm finishing up earlier seasons, her and Kimmy have, has always been jealous. All the time. So this is nothing new. But to say that like that, this girl must really love herself. She should. And it's sad that you don't. What is wrong with Melody basking in her beauty? What is wrong with that sense of awe and admiration about yourself? What is wrong with that, Letitia? So Melody has on her glasses and... Letitia asked her why was she wearing glasses? It's dark outside. And she said, well, she always wear glasses when she's at the hot tub. Well, she had on sunglasses. And Nell said she's doing the most. Well, let her be her, okay? Why are y'all so attentive to what she's doing or wearing? It's ridiculous. So while in the hot tub, Melody shares with the ladies that she has four kids by a man that never made her come. And, but yet he has the audacity to tell her that the reason he cheated is because she wasn't fulfilling her wifely duties. You couldn't even make the girl reach her highest peak, but you got the nerve to cheat. <laughs> the nerve. That sucks to be in a 10 year marriage and you not reach that level. Oh, that sucks. I'm sorry, Melody. She was faithful to a man who couldn't even satisfy that particular need, but yet he had the nerve to step out and then blame her for it. So later on, Nell and Chris are setting up uh, games for the guests to play, and it involved team building. Now, Melody said, if y'all are doing team building exercise, do not put her and Martell together. And guess what they do? They are going to put them together. And we see that towards the end of the episode. And Nell also says that she invited Kiki to Houston, unbeknownst to the other uh, guests. Now, it is her trip. And she does get to decide to invite whomever she wants. But the gag is she never invited Kiki. Kiki called Mel, knew about the trip, and wanted to come. And Mel said it was okay. She was a little reluctant, but yet she still said it was okay. Kiki tells Nell that she wants to come because she feels bad about what happened, throwing a drink in Letitia's face. And she wants to apologize. Um, if Kiki does anything, she is going to lie her way into something. So Chris asked Neil, well, can't she wait until we get back to Alabama? She ain't got to come here to apologize. I don't think that was a good idea to let her come and not tell the rest of the guests. It, it's given sneaky. If you told anyone, it should have been Letitia and Marceau. But this looks real sneaky. And granted, Neil may have had good intentions, but it's just the way it looks. To invite her cousin, knowing they're not in the best place, and knowing what just took place, it wasn't a good look. Mm -mm. She can wait until they get back to Alabama and apologize or call. She could have called. She could have texted. 
So later on that night, um, Maurice saw Martell bring in a sneaky link three o'clock in the morning. And that was very disrespectful. It was disrespectful because this young lady was not invited by Neil. She wasn't accounted for. And not only that, your ex-wife is on this trip. Even though they're not together, it's just, it's still disrespectful. He would be pissed if she brought in a man. He would not let that go. I mean, he walked in on her on a blind date, on a date. I can't imagine what would have took place had she brought a man. So the next episode, we'll see Kiki come to Houston and Nell has to let her know that she can't stay and she has to leave. And Kiki basically said, the fuck? So it's kind of like she's saying, I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> she was refusing to leave. Y'all, that's the end of this episode. I will see y'all next time. If you like the video, give it a like. Um, share your thoughts in the comments and subscribe. Bye.